This short video talks about the parts of the cylinder tachometer on a John Deere 6620 combine and a repair of one of the problems that can occur. When purchased, the tachometer in the cab reportedly had not worked for several years. The parts in the top half of this diagram include the tack and its connection to the cable in the cab. In the bottom part of the diagram, the cable is connected to a pulley, which is on the right side of the combine. The pulley rides on the shaft with a bearing. This pulley is driven by the beater shaft via a plastic belt. In this combine, the pulley driving the tachometer cable was not turning freely the bearing needed to be replaced. On the right side of the combine, you'll see the pulley on the beater shaft, left arrow, that drives the pulley connected to the tack cable, right arrow. You will see the pulley driving the tack cable is on a bracket attached by two bolts, red arrows. The yellow arrow shows the tachometer cable connection. Here is the bracket and pulley removed. The hub and pulley assembly is held in place by two bolts. This shows the hub unbolted from the bracket and the pulley, which is held on by a clip, removed. And the shaft and bearing, which was frozen, removed from the hub. A new bearing is part number AT23189. And the parts cleaned up and the new bearing installed on the shaft. The shaft and bearing are replaced in the hub and the hub bolted to the bracket. The tack cable is attached to the hub and the bracket bolted in place. When installing the belt, recall it must be crossed since the pulleys move in different directions. If you need a new belt, it is part number H83077.